What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Ajax post-match analysis video and Liverpool have done it! With one game to spare, Liverpool have qualified for the knockout stages and we went even better, we actually won the group with one game to go. This is such an unusual feeling as a Liverpool fan because almost every time in previous Champions League campaigns we always had to worry and suffer until the 95th minute of the last group stage game game to seal our qualification but this time Liverpool have done it with one game to go and we were missing nine first team players with an injury today so this is a huge achievement for a really like mixed uh, and understrength Liverpool side so huge credit goes to the whole team but especially the three young players Cowan and Callagher who I think was man of the match. Our goalkeeper made some world-class saves, honestly. And he looks uh, so assured, so calm. And uh, the defenders trusted him today. And I think short term, he could be a better option than Adrian, who with Adrian, we always look shaky at the back. With Kelleher, yes, Ajax had a lot of chances and huge credit to Ajax. They played well today and, and they could have scored two or three goals if it wasn't for Kelleher, but he made some world-class saves as I said as I said the other two young players this is also a record for Liverpool that for the first time in Liverpool's history two teenagers combine for a goal in the Champions League so 19 year old Naco Williams crossed it for a 19 year old Curtis Jones they are both scousers and Curtis Jones scored an epic back here goal yes it was a big big error bigger mistake by the Ajax goalkeeper Onana to let the ball go. I thought that he could catch it but a few minutes earlier Onana dropped a very simple catch, very simple ball which was a miss hit shot by Neko Williams and he should have just collected it but he dropped it and twisted his ankle and maybe that was also playing on Onana's mind in that instance so he lets the high cross go out for a goal kick that's what he thought but Curtis Jones was very alert from half a yard or one yard from the touchline Curtis Jones with his back to the goal back heels it into the back of the net an absolute world-class finish and this guy Curtis Jones honestly he could be one of the best midfielders of this next generation of footballers because Curtis Jones is honestly a bowler. I absolutely love him. He uh, made the name himself for himself for scoring the winner in uh, the FA Cup Merseyside Derby against Everton. But since then, he has been playing regularly. He, only, he already played five times in the Premier League this season, twice in the League Cup where he scored two goals. And he also has four Champions League goal, Champions League games with one goal as well. So he's already he already has three goals this season, Curtis Jones, and I think there is many many more to come from him. Liverpool were very very depleted, especially our defense like uh, Nako Williams and Kelleher had to start. It looks like the reports are coming in. Paul Joyce reported this before the game that Alisson suffered a hamstring injury. It's a light injury, so not a serious one, but still hamstring injuries usually usually take minimum 10 to 14 days so Alisson will definitely miss the Wolves game on the weekend and maybe the games after that as well which is a little bit worrying for Liverpool that our first choice goalkeeper Alisson it looks like he's in the injury prone the good news for Liverpool is that the Michelin Liverpool game at least for Liverpool is meaningless because Liverpool had to thank Michelin for this because Michelin put in a heroic fight against Atalanta in Atalanta Atalanta they took the lead early on in the first half and in the second half it was all Atalanta but they could only equalize in the 79th minute they couldn't find the winner which means that Liverpool will not only qualify with a game to go but win the group actually so we don't have anything to play for in the Michelin Liverpool game so we could in theory play the under 21 side and also Michelin have nothing to play for because even if they beat Liverpool with the big score line it doesn't matter because Michelin can't qualify for the Europa League and it will come down to the big big match between Ajax and Atalanta whoever wins that game qualifies Atalanta only needs a draw in that one to qualify and there has been some big shocks big surprises in the Champions League tonight but first let's talk about the Liverpool performance I think going forward recreate 
created a very very good chances actually Curtis Jones um, could have sent Liverpool off to a flying start where Liverpool played very well in the first 15 minutes and Curtis Jones hits the post with an absolutely airy, epic shot from outside the box it, it cannons off the sh post and it was so unlucky because I, I think Liverpool deserved the goal for that great start that they made but after that Ajax took control of the game and in the first half actually Ajax created a lot of chances and Ajax had 59% possession in the first half. They controlled the game and they could have scored if it wasn't for Kelleher and also Fabinho was absolutely imperious at the back with Joan Matip. They are a great centre-back pairing. There was a very worrying moment in the first half where Andy Robertson went down holding his ankle and his ankle had to be strapped up um, but he could continue thankfully and Liverpool didn't have to make a substitution. The second half was more even and Liverpool had more chances to seal the game. We had so many opportunities in the, it is on the counter attack but I think we missed Bobby Firmino in this one. It's strange to say that but Mo Salah very rarely got the ball because Mane and Jota were always very goal hungrily driving forward and that's what good strikers do they try to score goals but Salah was sometimes in a better position and Mane or, Fim or Jota didn't pick him out and Jota had a brilliant chance we had three attackers racing onto the Atalanta sorry the Ajax goal with just one defender back but Jota took a very long touch and uh, the chance was gone. The Ajax defender picked the ball up. But if we played that right, we, we really should have scored from that. And we had other really good promising counter-attacks, but we just never, never made it count. We, we couldn't uh, score in a vital moment. And it took a big mistake from the Ajax goalkeeper to score from. Uh, the Ajax uh, players were very, very good as well. David Neres had a good game. Klaassen had a couple of chances which he thankfully missed but what I was most impressed about was Ryan Gravenbeck who is just an 18 year old um, midfielder. I'm saying just because he's so young but he looked so assured, so calm on the ball and he had some really really good runs and also Masrauri and Pershurs made some really really good tackles on Mane and yeah, the Ajax uh, play team is, is very good. They just missed their clinical finishing, just like Liverpool. I mean, this game should have probably ended 3-2 Liverpool or 4-3 Liverpool, something like that. But both teams were missing that killer instinct. And thank goodness for that Curtis Jones goal. Bobby, F Bobby Firmino um, also hit the post after going through from a brilliant flick. He really should have buried this after after Salah's uh, almost assist pass, but uh, Onana made a terrific save. And also Ayas hit the post in the second half. David Neres almost scored after Kelleher parried the ball straight to Neres. So that was a, the smallest of the mistakes from Kelleher in an otherwise faultless performance. And I think it said it all that after the final whistle, Jurgen Klopp ran onto the beach to hug a Kelleher and to praise him and he was beaming with a smile because this was the best outcome and thankfully we didn't lose anybody with an injury but Robertson's ankle is a worry and let's hope that um, we can get through the Wolves game and after that because Liverpool qualify as group winners we can rest all the first team against Mikiland and the players who don't usually play like Tsimikas, Reese Williams, players like that can play in the Michelin Liverpool game. So finally, Liverpool will have a full week's rest before uh, the next game. And that is very, very important in Liverpool season because as I said, we are really stretched with injuries. And after that, there is a really brutal run in the Premier League where we play Fulham, Tottenham, Crystal Palace, West Brom, Newcastle and Southampton. Then it's New Year's Day. So let me know what did you think of the game? Uh, how did you enjoy the Liverpool performance? Who impressed you? And thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.